I'm uh, David Henry Huang, and my Chinese name is uh, Huang Zhe Lun. Um, and uh, Huang is the yellow Huang. Uh, Zhe is uh, family, and Lun is philosophy. My parents are both immigrants. My father came from Shanghai, and my mother's a uh, Fujianese Chinese from the Philippines. My mother was a pianist, and my father was a businessman. There was certainly no expectation that I was going to grow up and become a writer or any sort of artist. And I wouldn't have imagined that either for myself. The whole process of becoming interested in playwriting uh, didn't really happen until college. When I was a freshman in college, um, we, just the dorm, would go and see uh, shows in the city, which is San Francisco. And I remember seeing some plays at the American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco and thinking, oh, maybe I can do that. So I started writing some plays in my spare time and I found a professor, uh, John Lerer, who was willing to take a look at them. He was a novelist and the head of the creative writing department. And he told me they were really bad, which they were, and that my problem was that I wanted to write plays, but I didn't actually know anything about the theater. But John was a good guy and then started to design a program for me that I could see as many plays and read as many plays as I could. And we essentially created uh, a playwriting major um, that I could do under the uh, auspices of the English department. Uh, and that was what I ended up studying. You know, I always feel that my parents were kind of extraordinary in being uh, Chinese-American immigrant parents who accepted fairly readily the notion that their son was going to become a playwright. I usually have um, some sort of question that I'm trying to answer for myself. Writing is a way for me to understand how I really feel about um, a, a matter um, even, you know, sort of in my subconscious, even beyond what I know. For instance, um, you know, my uh, probably best known play is M. Butterfly, and it's based on the true story of a French diplomat who had a 20-year affair with a Chinese actress who turned out to be A, a spy, and B, a man in drag, and the diplomat claimed that he never knew that his lover was actually a man. And so there's a very obvious question there. How could the diplomat not have known? And I think that when things excite me and uh, make me really curious, then I want to write about them. I wish I knew that there was a formula to get my shows on Broadway because then I'd get more of them on Broadway. I, I feel like all you can really do is write what you want to write about and write what you believe in. On one trip I was taken to this um, uh, brand new cultural center and it was really gorgeous, except for the really badly translated uh, sort of Chinglishy signs. Uh, like uh, the handicapped restroom said, deformed man's toilet. Uh, the idea came to me to, be, to write a play about doing business in China, but one that would deal with the issue of language. Sometimes, if you're lucky, someone will come along and decide to put it on Broadway. I think in the case of Chinglish, um, because of the subject matter, uh, because it was comedy, because uh, of increasing interest in China and doing business in China, um, producers actually quite quickly, uh, after I finished the first draft, there were a number of producers who wanted to do it on Broadway. I think that there are advantages and disadvantages to being a Chinese-American writer. I mean, I came up during a period when people weren't, or Asian Americans in general, weren't writing about ourselves by and large. And so I think it became important for us to define that uh, and be able to create kind of a Chinese American, Asian American literature, which um, where we were to, able to kind of express the truth and the three dimensionality of our own uh, lives and experience. The ability to become um, a star or mainstream um, kind of celebrity uh, are, are still few and far between and a lot of Asian American actors who are able to have one breakthrough role, um, they don't necessarily get the kind of follow-up that uh, a Caucasian actor would. They don't get the other sorts of roles offered to them and that's a hard to sustain a career. I think there is still a, a a certain amount of fear in Hollywood. Hollywood basically runs on fear. They're afraid to take risks. 
And so it, everybody want, is afraid to make a decision that's going to go badly that they can't explain. I've had a lot of flops. Everybody who works in the theater has more flops than hits by a huge amount. Failure is really important because if you don't fail, it means that you're not taking enough risks. And if you're not taking enough risks, you're not going to discover new things. If it goes to Broadway, if it becomes a movie, it's, that's all icing on the cake, but it shouldn't be the cake. Um, the two most important things are to write something that feels real to you. And that means not necessarily uh, thinking that there's a formula, that there's a way to uh, do this so that you're going to become rich or that you uh, get a movie produced or get a play on Broadway, but you're writing something that's meaningful to you.